What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news, some unfortunate news concerning Terrence Crawford, Harold Spence. Listen, I did a live today, and I broke it down to a lot of Errol Spence fans and how I felt about Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford's fans and how I felt about Terrence Crawford. And I think like a lot of people's fans, I think that's what gives the fighters a bad rap, okay? The rap of these guys, these the obnoxiousness of fans really makes it harder for the fighter. Now, I thought I was done with videos. I've done many today, many today. But I have to address the fact that Errol Spence's one of Errol Spence's fans of Entourage or whatever threatened to shoot Terrence Crawford before the fight. Like, what are you... Like, like, okay. Who needs fans like that? And then this is where you have to be accountable and hold ownership to your own Entourage or your own fan base. You have to know how to control them in a way of authority see Errol Spence should have in fact should have told that person or addressed anybody that wants to take harm to Terrence Crawford but me is getting it that's how it should have been absolutely I don't I wouldn't tolerate that if I was Errol Spence Errol Spence has I want to say a pretty good fan base but or a pretty big fan base but when you hear people say stuff like that about another fighter wanting to put bodily harm on a fighter for a fucking boxing match. It's just pathetic, ridiculous, and sad. And Errol Spence should address that. He should. Because he should let people know what he stands for and what he doesn't stand for. You know, so by staying quiet, you know, oh, it's almost as though he um, accepts it. He allows it. If you allow it, that means you accept it in many times. You know, it's a boxing match to see who the best fighters are. Not some crazy, fanatical, entourage fanboy that's talking so much or wants to inflict pain because he can't stand the idea of a possibility of his fighter that he idolizes of being hurt or defeated. It's so stupid. Like I've been telling you guys, this is more than just fight two fighters. These two fighters represent two different uh, fan bases, and a lot of, more of the fans are more nervous than the damn fighters. Let the fighters fight. Let them fight. Let them see who's the best, but at no means try to inflict harm on either man. And I would have said the same thing about Terrence Crawford if anybody was on Terrence Crawford's side what he and how he should address that because when you're a champion you're a role model when you're a role model you're an example and when you know you have the responsibility of such you should act accordingly okay so no there's no excuse for that that guy should be uh banned taken away you know it's definitely documented because it was on um social media so it's just sad, man. I had to address it. You guys tell me what you think about this craziness. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.